Yo guys, MC Procrastinator here. Hope you guys are all doing well. So, do you know what guys? I made a decision. I've been watching a lot of you guys, um, your own YouTube channels if you've got one. By the way, thanks for all the comments and the feedback, etc. It's great engaging with people. You know, I love people sharing stories. I love watching your videos, etc, etc. Um, but one of the things I realized from sort of, you know, kind of watching everybody's videos is that I find myself picking out the bits or the topics that are kind of more of interest than others. And I'd probably say we all do that, right? I think it's a little bit down to the kind of YouTube template. The way they've kind of designed it allows you to do that. And do you know what? I actually think about this. I do this crap on TV all the time. So I can't remember the last time I watched proper TV. Um, we kind of subscribe to Netflix. And like if I've got my missus, uh, with me, I don't do this, but when I've got my missus, or when I don't have my missus, I'm on Netflix and I'm just skipping parts the past. I'm skipping part. Wow, why the f can I say that? So, yeah, I can't remember last time I watched TV, I just skipped past the parts that don't interest me. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so, yeah, so that gave me the idea. Um, you know, like we all do different kinds of videos, right? And I just sort of thought, well, do you know what? I'm going to create a two minute series. I see some other people kind of do a one minute series, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can limit what I say to just one minute, but I think I can do two. So we're going to have a go at this. This one will be a little bit longer than obviously two minutes because I've jarred on about what I'm looking to do. So I'm going to pick a topic, I'm going to talk about that topic, and um, I'm going to put that out there. I may do some of this on a bike, I may not do some of it on a bike, but I'm going to call it a two minute series, alright? And that two minute series might turn into a three minute series, but for now we're going to call it a two minute series. Alright? And I think that would just be a little bit easier to kind of communicate some information out there or some topics about how I feel about something versus how you guys feel about something without taking up too much of your time. Because one of the things I don't want to do, I don't want to get away from, I want to be able to create videos, but I also enjoy watching videos. So I don't want to get away from that. So I need to find. I only, obviously everybody's only got so many hours in a day, so I just really need to find a happy medium between what I provide out there as content and what I can do for others and, you know, feel that I'm, I'm enjoying life and I'm enjoying the stuff that I watch, da -da -da -da, and whilst I can still watch likes of Game of Thrones and stuff. So, I'm just really, it's just a better way of juggling my time for the moment and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, what's the topic? Conor McGregor, Mayweather 5. 209 Moso kind of brought this up. This is interesting. I actually enjoyed the fight. I didn't pay for the fight. I watched the fight afterwards. Um, right, so let me just quickly talk about Conor McGregor. What do I like about Conor McGregor and what I don't like about him? Honestly, Conor McGregor annoys me a little bit because he just talks absolute crap. And I actually, do you know what? Some people like that all the time, that would do my head in. I, I really don't like it. I find it disrespectful. I think he talks down to people. Um, I don't think he's a good example for where society should be at, right? That being said, I guess you have to put it in the context of what they do. He's probably no more different than an actor getting into the zone to represent something to make it interesting for people. So, to be fair, that's cut when you see him on his own talking about stuff. I really like the way he reflects. And do you know what? That aside, after the fight, I mean, you could argue that it's because uh, he had to eat a bit of humble pie, but yeah, he's right. Like, he's in it for the money, right? Who wouldn't be? You've only got like a, a certain lifetime kind of doing that kind of sports. And you're either somebody or you're nobody, right? There's kind of no in between. But anyway, you know, I, I felt he represented himself really out well after the fight uh, with Mayweather. Uh, um, I think that's really good to see. Yeah, it's probably, and that's probably a really good example to people how, you know what, in real life, you, you should always really respect other people because then it's just a, it's just an even playing field. If you go into a fight, or you know, like a, well, not fight fight, but if you go into a fight uh, like that, you know, you can both kind of be, hey mate, good to meet you, both get on with that knock the crap out of each other, and at the end, just be like, good work, man. Anyway, so the fight, what did I think of the fight? Uh, well, so as I said, I, uh, 
I watched the fight afterwards, okay? So getting used to uh, hitting this flat brake on this bike now. Um, so I watched the fight afterwards, and you know, yeah, like everybody said in the papers, first couple of minutes, sorry, first six rounds or so, it was good. Do you know what? I was totally into it. And then, man, that guy, like Conor McGregor, like he could just take a smashing, right? Like he can take those punches. Fair play to him. He didn't joke. Like he can take, take, take. But he he ran out of juice. Mayweather was clever. Mayweather is a very clever guy, right? You know, he's boxing. He's technical. He's leader of his class. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, like what did Conor McGregor have? Was it a year's worth of prep for the fight? I don't know, like it might even be less than that. So, yeah, it was an interesting fight, but whilst Conor McGregor lost out to Mayweather, um, you know, if it was a UFC, boxing into UFC, it would have been a different kettle of fish. And I also think in a real world, like, you know what, UFC's always going to win. Because it's just mixed. There's no, I mean, whilst there's rules, it's brutal. I reckon boxing's on its way out. But yeah, that's my thoughts on um, Conor McGregor versus Mayweather. So hopefully that's a two-minute video right there. Um, and I'm going to get on to the next one in a few minutes. See you later, guys. Empty the rest of the